Today we're going to review and test the Axial Capra, one of the best new crawlers from Axial. It's the cross between a, a trail crawler and a rock racer and it's very capable with its very low profile body and no bumpers. So it's available in kit format for 350 bucks or in ready to run RTR format for 450 bucks. This test is in preparation for our big shootout where we put it up against some of the best crawlers today. The first test is a steep dirt climb test. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run four of the best vehicles, identical tires using Proline Hyrax on the same course using the same lines. So the first one is the steepest dirt climb we could find. And we put some cones to make sure they go through the, the correct line. So here it starts out very hard with a couple holes that we force the vehicles to go through. Left rear is in a little rut and the front left is also stuck but it side hills to the right and is able to navigate across. Conditions are pretty slick, there's some roots, there's some moss, and it's gonna succeed, but the key here is to observe how the Capra behaves in all these obstacles. This Capra is the kit format, it's running a brushless, and uh, we put a pen spring mod to lower the ride height a little bit. So here is a very technical rock test, that rock is pretty slippery. Capra has pretty good grip. As you can see, it's slipping right away on that on that rounded rock. Very little grip, but it's able to grab hold left and right on each rock. And now it just has to climb. The interesting thing here is because of the exposed wheels and exposed tires, the right rear is caught under that rock on the right side. It's an unusual scenario that is preventing this Capra from doing this climb, which is it should be able to do otherwise. And now we have an impossible rock step test. 90% of our vehicles have no chance with this one. So the first is a steering maneuver, and then it's a it's a process of trying to get an angle, trying to climb up and avoid the left tall rock on the left and try to get some leverage on this rock. Something interesting with the Capra, no bumpers, no body. It's able to get the tire over a rock pretty quickly. But as you can see on that side, it just keeps sliding backward. You know, having no rear bumper means when it's at the limit, this is gonna tip over backwards. There's a crazy wall. You have to hop, accelerate to get the entry. And then we slow crawl from there. Capra's pretty good at this one. Have all the smooth. Steep wall test number two is our impossible near vertical climb. Here, the Capra has good approach That's angles right and good departure angles. Ah. As you can see, it doesn't. Capra doesn't really give warning when it's going to yeah, tip over uh, because it can't no rest on its body or its bumper. Uh, this, but this well, we're going to keep trying here. Because they have no bumper, no body. Yeah. Put any weight up. Uh, Maybe a little more gentle, less aggressive. Yeah. Where's the motor? The mid. Mid. Yeah. Uh, it's not that so the Capra box stock in the yeah, kit format rides like too high. We had like, to make sure to lower it to give it a fighting chance at these obstacles. So he is able to hop up. It's very wide. So it has to take different lines than the rest of the vehicles. But here it's successful in 
doing our, one of our hardest climbs. Now we go for a side hill. So right here, this is very extreme and it's got a lot of divots. Like so as you the roll, camera. the tires keep slipping. Better. And the side wheel. Right there, like the low profile, capras, low CG of the Capra is, helps out they, they, and they don't also have the, gear the width of it actually helps out. So they run fast when you need a really good motor. Most of the time, the width of the Capra doesn't really help us, but in oh, this case, is... it's actually pretty good. Going the other way, it's not able to do it. It's, it's harder that way. And now this is our boulder boulder section many lines here I'm gonna try them all first entry it's got no problem here the belly hangs up Capra by the way has portal axles so it's it, um, it's able to clear a lot of protruding rocks that way but with the axle with the wheelbase being so wide it uh, exposes the axis a little more so here the belly uh, it keeps hitting that big rock perhaps because the wheelbase is so wide it's not having an easy time on this one right there just when the front tire is gonna grab the belly keeps keeps rubbing we go a little more right just right at the limit of grabbing but it's close so we're gonna keep trying there you go once it's over the articulation of the vehicle really helps out little three-point u-turn here right gets it descending descending is quite controlled it's got a hobby wing 540 axe on it and now we have a steep climb on this other side good approach angle good exit angle you know like, like we said once once it tips over backwards, it's gonna go. There's nothing, no bumper, no body to, to, to rest on. And that's actually a disadvantage compared to all the other vehicles that we have. Because a lot of times we play at the limit here. Boom, a little hop. It's able to get through. This is an impossible wall. The boulders are pretty slick, pretty rounded, a lot of belly dragging, but we're able to power through. Maybe another try, let's see what, what happens. Playing on rocks is especially the rock, the Capra because it's got nobody you know, a better approach on the bunch of angles boom look at that hop not really fair not really a slow crawl but why not anyway with enough tries and enough power it's able to succeed so you get the picture over here is a very steep rock wall i use the steering Grab hold of the little cracks. Something cool with the capo once you got the the right height dialed is we're able to apply power to it. Not having an easy time. One thing we're doing in this test session 
is for showing all the attempts, not just the one success out of five years. That way we get to learn how the thing behaves. So something interesting with the Capra is it's geared very high. Final drive ratio is about 30 to 1 when most of the other vehicles we are testing are 40 to 1. So that means the vehicle is fairly fast. We don't know why this is the case. It's not ideal. It makes the vehicle harder to control. So we're using the Hobby Wing, which is a very slow, easy to modulate motor, and it, we have some success. But once you uh, put some power into it, you know, the, the thing is like a rocket. <laughs> so not ideal. And it's hard to put a lower pinion on the Kappa. So this is our, our wall of doom test. It's two climbs. One, the first one is hard enough. But the second one is even gnarlier because we make a right immediate right turn here. So here the Capra has an immediate advantage where no bumpers or body got in the way. Only tire hit and now it's able to weave through the cracks. So there is the Capra. Very interesting vehicle. You know, not perfect but very capable and we're gonna see how it does against some of our best crawlers and a lot of them are trail trucks but it's really comparable to those vehicles so stay tuned we're gonna have the exact same lines for uh, the Vanquish VS410 a modified TRX4 Sport and a modified Element RC Enduro thank you very much